All right, so we left off here and we were talking about how height and weight, if they had nothing to do with each other, would have no overlap. All right, now that, of course, is not very realistic. So what if they had something to do with each other? A little bit to do with each other or say a lot to do with each other? Well, you can see that the one that has a lot to do with each other, as is probably the case in height and weight, would have a lot of overlap. Say 30% of, see that, R squared? 30% of the peach circle is in that overlap and 30% of the blue circles in that overlap. And that's what R squared is for you, uh, R squared being the coefficient of determination, which I don't know if it ever says that. Eh, it doesn't, so I'll add it, <laughs> right? So if you have R squared, um, that's the coefficient of determination. It's really exactly the same as what you think. It's R, the coefficient, um, the correlation coefficient, squared. That's it, right? But if you have it, um, it's going to give you the percent of overlap, if you will, between the two variables. N not in terms of the raw variables themselves, but their variation, right? All right, so what's the explanatory variable? It would be the height. What's the response variable? That would be the y variable, which is the weight. Which of these two graphs, graph one or graph two, depicts a stronger correlation? Well, there's no question about it. It's two, right? Oopsie. Right, two has more overlap in it. It has more um, higher R value, right? Strength of the correlation is on this graph is only 0.3. Strength of the correlation on this graph is 0.55. Now, as for which one um, depicts more shared variation, that's also two, right? Because there's more overlap between the two of them in two. All right, the stronger the blank, the blank the amount of shared variation. So the stronger the correlation, the greater the amount of shared variation and the larger or greater the coefficient of determination okay so for example in this one up here the coefficient of determination is right here the r squared equals 0 0.09 down here it's r squared equals 0 0.30 which literally means 30 percent of the variability in these two variables um, is explained by the other variable right they go hand in hand so if you want to think of it the up and down of weight 30% of the up and downedness of weight can be explained by using height. But of course, there are other factors involved as well. And that's what I was just saying here. So what percentage of the total area of graph one is in that overlap? 9% because R squared, R squared, oops, having issues with my graph here, equals 0 0.09. So 9% percent is the answer. All right, what percentage of the total area in graph 2 is in there? Well, in graph 2, it was r squared was equal to 0 0.30. So that would be 30 percent. Oops, percent. Which of these is more likely to be an accurate depiction of the shared variation of height and weight? Mm -hmm. Graph 2. Uh, because height and weight are very strongly correlated, which should not shock anybody. Right. You know, in general, somebody that weigh or is seven feet tall is going to weigh more than somebody that's five feet tall, right? And so the coefficient of determination, the capital versus small r, and this is one instance where it's not going to matter if you use a capital or you use a lowercase r. doesn't make any difference. Um, it measures the portion, proportion of total variation in the response variables that is explained by the least squares regression line. So why does the definition say the least squares regression line rather than talking about the two variables individually? Well, that's because the line, um, here, let me type it up, and I'll be right back. All right, so the, the long and the short of it is that they didn't really have to say least squares regression line. They could talk about the variation in one variable to another, but um, the least squares regression line will measure that variation in the gauge, the strength of the relationship. Um, in other words, least squares regression line takes into account the variability in the variables in order to make the line in the first place. And down here, remember that a high coefficient of determination does not imply causal relationship.